um, the parts that we're receiving is the uh, rear bearing support, the pre-assembled um, hand wheel shaft adapter with the seal already in place, uh, hand wheel side mount hand wheel adapter, one spare set of O-rings, seals and wave washer, extra oil and um, uh, some op uh, open close stick, open stickers, directional stickers. Uh, we'll be sending obviously a, a full set of these for the, each actuator and just the one set of uh, oil and the spare rings. We're going to install the uh, side man hand wheel, converting from the top man hand wheel to the side man hand wheel. First thing to make sure we do is have the actuator isolated so we don't get any uh, movements. So either put the actuator in stop or isolate the actuator completely. First thing we're going to do is remove the top man hand wheel, 6mm Allen key. After removing the four screws from the top man handle, we can just remove the handle. That will give us a lot more space. Next thing we're going to do is um, remove some oil. The unit contains 600 mil of oil, so we need to remove about two to 300 mil. Um, best way to do that is to remove this drain plug. Um, what I do is I take, I've got a little adapter here to help the uh, oil come out a bit further so it doesn't fall everywhere. So I quickly loosen that off so it's finger tight. and quickly replace that in there. Just finger tight is fine. Then I can remove the blue cap. Put something to drain the oil into. Then I can remove the top cap. And then we need to drain about 200, 250 mils of oil. So once we've drained enough oil, around 200 mil, um, we can replace the top cap, which will slow the flow of oil. This cap back on, and then we can remove that bottom plug, for the bottom drain. Put the plug back in. And retighten the bottom plug. Wipe any excess oil away, keep it nice and clean. So we've removed about 250 mils of oil. Remove the four bolts that hold back the retaining ring. Remove the retaining ring. Then we can remove the top mount hand wheel adapter. Carefully remove the o ring. And remove the quad ring. Being gentle not to damage any of the seals. We then reuse the quad ring. Sure it's not twisted or pinched. And then slip on the O-ring.
Then remove the blanking plate for the sideband handwheel. Keeping that O-ring and the bolts. Yep, reuse that O-ring on there. This um, sideband handle already come pre-assembled with the seal on the um, shaft there already um, in place. The back support ring is easier if it's inserted now. That can be a bit tricky. I need a gentle tap. You can at this stage, if needed, just use the um, sideband handle to square it up. Good little trick. And use the sideband handle to push that bearing in the back first. We make sure that the wave washer is with the little prong sticking up. We then insert, reinsert the um, side man, hand wheel adapter. Just twist it and it should fit, push down a bit further. Then we insert our retaining ring. Use the same four screws. Then um, wind in the uh, sideman handwheel shaft, sub assembly. Make sure it all lines up. And slide, just slide, um, uh, um, do the screws up evenly. Tighten up. Remove any ridge or any oil drips. Then make sure we've tightened the bottom plug. Then we can remove the top plug again. So now that we've reassembled um, our sideband handwheel on, we can quickly check that it's spinning okay, that's fine. And then we just replace the oil that we removed earlier on. Now we're finished filling up with oil. We can remove our funnel, replace the top plug, plug. And tighten. That is a completion from a top man, um, top man hand wheel to side man hand wheel conversion. If you have any further questions, please contact uh, Acronine um, and ask for the service department.